Hi, I'm Kai Robinson with ProRank Business Solutions. In this video, we're going to walk through how to post a project on ProRank Academy. So let's get started. Now, the first thing that you need to realize about posting a project on ProRank Academy is that there's two primary kinds of projects that you may want to post. And you're going to have to decide which kind of project you would like to post. All right. The first type of project is a subcontract opportunity. OK, and you'll see it'll say freelance sub down here in this little light off gray. And what the subcontract opportunity does is it allows users to respond to the solicitation directly and send you their quote. OK, you'll see a blue respond to project button and anybody could then take a look at this at this bid opportunity that this prime put out. And this prime is soliciting for subcontractors to participate with them on this project. So what they would want is a subcontractor to respond to this project and send their quote. OK, and they could do that by simply uh, clicking on the blue respond to project button. Uh, they could type a message here. They could select their resume or capability statement that they have on file here, and they could add their quote. They could go and browse their quote from their computer and attach it, and then they could send that application, okay? And this would be for a subcontract opportunity that would allow uh, subcontractors or respondents on ProRank Academy to respond directly to the person posting the project. Now, the second type of project on ProRank Academy would be a prime project or a prime contract opportunity. And these, you'll notice that the response uh, button is red and there, you are not able to respond to these on ProRank Academy, all right? And that's because for prime contracting opportunities, a lot of times there's gonna be a specific date and time um, that they want you to submit the bid or a specific system that they want you to submit the bid and everybody has to do it at the same time, the same place, you know, to make the bid valid. So you have to submit bids for prime contracting opportunities often directly back to the project owner. So in that case, we don't allow responses or, or we have responses on ProRank Academy not enabled, okay? If you select um, a prime a freelance prime contract, all right? They might be accept, accepting subcontracts too, but once you select freelance contract prime, it's gonna disable uh, somebody's ability to respond through ProRank Academy, and they would just have to go to the project system link, you know, or they could use the contact us, all right? And they could respond that way. So you have to decide whether you want to allow responses to your project on ProRank Academy or not. All right. And uh, once you decide that uh, the first step to actually creating your project is coming down here to get work and clicking on post new job or project. So we want to go ahead and do that now. And what we'll do is recreate that last project and we're going to do it really quickly. All right. These are our options to create a job or project. We're going to select the project radio button. Then we're going to go down and. Uh, you see the first thing here is a project title and this works best if you actually have you know a bid solicitation already on a PDF or already on a Word document and what we're going to do is just copy and pull our information directly from our bid solicitation right into these relevant fields really quick and easy okay so let's walk through and do it first thing we're going to do is add the name of the project in the project title field this project does not have a number, so I'll just say to be D, to be determined. Um, but if it did, I could put it there. The project location is going to be Wilkesbury, PA for this project. Remote location is really not applicable. This is important. This is where we're going to determine uh, what type of project, right? Whether it's a prime, you know, contract or a subcontract. And I'm not sure if PJ Dick is acting as the uh, as the project manager and soliciting this opportunity on behalf of the of the project owner or if they are actually 
um, the Prime looking for subs. So just to be safe, I'm going to put Freelance Prime and I'm going to put Sub. But I'm not going to allow responses on ProRank Academy because when I look at this particular solicitation, uh, it's pretty it's pretty specific about you know how they want the bids, uh, and we don't want anybody to mess up their bid by trying to send this through ProRank Academy, right? Said so bids may be uploaded to SmartBidNet or emailed to you know, and it's saying right here. It's saying bid shall be submitted on the bid form and must include all accompanying ACED exhibits. So when you start to see specific things like that, then, you know, to be safe, you might want to just make sure that they respond directly on the platform that they're being referred to. But if we were just looking for quotes and we were going to put this bid in on the platform, then we would, you know, allow them to respond to us. And then that way we could make our own quote with everybody else's quote that they're providing to us. Okay. Um, the project cost range, we don't know right now. The description here, what I'm going to do for the description, I'm just going to um, get a portion of the description directly here from the invitation. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it. And uh, I want you to take special note to how I do this, all right, because I'm going to try to keep as much of the formatting as possible. And notice that when you copy PDF, sometimes you get extra sections that you can't, you know, unselect. So notice I copied the title. I have this extra section up here I'm going to take note of. And I have all of this right here, all right? So this is going to be what I use for my description. I'm just going to copy this. And what I'm going to do is just come to the description and... Here in the kitchen sink section, you can use all of these options to format your text. The most important one that I want to show you is this paste as text. Now, if I don't do anything and I leave that shading on, you know, this paste as text, if I come here and paste what I just copied, um, it's just going to be unformatted and it's going to look like this. All right. And then I could come and format it with the bullets or the make it bold or separate it how I need to. All right. But. If I delete this out and I toggle that off, so now you see that there's no shadow around that. What this is going to do now is going to keep the formatting from my PDF. And when I paste now, notice that I have some, you know, some style, some bullets here. All right. And it's not exactly, you know, the one to one from this. Right. But I can work with it. And I can go find the stuff in here and see how I have, you know, these spaces. I need to put the spaces back in, maybe adjust the bullets a little bit. So it's up to you whether you want to keep the formatting or not. What I'm going to do is just go here and I, re I recognize this to be my title. All right. This got a little jumbled up. This was that this right here is that section, right, that we were showing you. That's up here, right? That ends with the uh, the date there, so you see that, and then you you see the title is actually underneath of this, and then you see these breaks, all right, that aren't in this. And I'm going to go and put these breaks in here. So I have a, a paragraph here after room. I have a paragraph here. paragraph here I'm going to take that bullet out bring that down have those and then I'm going to unindent these I'm going to bring these out one all right bring these back one there you go and that's going to be this is going to be my uh, description. All right. My diversity participation. You can just copy that directly from uh, your solicitation. This happens to be 13% MBE, 2% WBE, and 5% VSOB. The expiration date for this is December 8th. I'm just going to put my... 
is December 8th. I'm just going to put my expiration date here. The closing time for this is 2 p.m. Just going to put my closing time for the bid. Project documents. These are actually the project documents. All right. So I'm just going to get my invitation to bid and I'm going to browse that. And we're going to add that there. All right. Project system link. This is going to be where the actual bid is or where the bid documents are or where you're supposed to submit those bid documents. Right. So uh, if I actually had a link, if I was given a link here for this, uh, this bidding system, smart bid net, I would put that as the actual project system link. Right. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just use this link here because this is where I got everything from. All right. So you can access the opportunity from there as well. But this is where I would put the actual uh, bidding system link if I had a link to the actual bidding system where the bid was. Uh, this is the, the additional email, you know, so I'm not allowing responses, but it says that uh, bids should be emailed to this email address all right so that's the email address that I have here and uh, if I wanted to put the next codes you know I could go choose the industry construction and I could choose you know the applicable next codes you know that were applicable to this job here is company specific information all right so when you upload your information here it's going to remember you all right, so you can put your company name. This is the company that's posting this job. Uh, your website, this is gonna show up as a contact us link. If you have a tagline, if you have a video, and you can add your company logo, that's gonna make your submission look nice, and that will show up next to your submission. And once you have this information here for your project, all you're gonna do is click on this blue submit button. All right. Uh, this is a preview of our listing. All right, and you see here, it looks pretty good. We have everything spaced out. We have our project system link where we can go access the bid itself. We have the contact us link. This is the link to our website, like we said, our participation, our project documents, all right? And if everything looks good, then we can click on this final submit listing. All right. If it doesn't, if we want to update something, then we can click on this edit listing and we can go back and edit any of the details for this. Right. We see here that we, you know, our project type, our location, our expiration date, our closing time, our title, you know, um, everything looks good. So let's go ahead and submit this listing. All right. And what you see is that uh, the job has been submitted successfully. You're given a link to your project dashboard where you can see the pending status of this job. All right, it's pending approval. You can manage your other uh, projects that you may have posted here, all right? And once this job is approved, then you'll be able to manage it here, you'll be able to see it here, and you'll be able to see the incoming applications and manage and view those from here. So what I'm gonna do is go uh, approve this really quick. We got a notification that our project has been approved. And now we see this project here ready to go. And we already have one there named that, so don't let that confuse you. All right, but I just redid this version of this project here. It looks good, right? And we made it so that we, we are not allowing responses. This would force somebody to go to the project system link to actually respond to this job or project, okay? So I hope this is helpful. Uh, it's really quick and easy to post your jobs or projects. And uh, next we'll show you how to post your resumes and capability statements. Thanks for viewing.